Alright, so here I got another Wi-Fi battle for you guys, finally, because I got another DS, so um, hopefully this one will last me a little more than two weeks like the previous one did, but yeah, here I got a team that was given to me by Shofu, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys recognize it already, and this is a good battle against a guy from the Small Gun Wi-Fi Battle Finder, I forgot if I said that already, but I don't give a fuck, so he's using a rain team, um... Not really a rain team, more like just has a polytoad in there. Uh, his team's not really going to benefit too much from the rain. Besides, this polytoad is going to get um, a boosted water attacks. So is this Burungaru, since I'm pretty sure has the scout. And uh, his Sazendora is probably going to run Surf over Fire Blast. So um, I'm expecting that from him. But uh, I'm really not too worried about those guys. I'm a little bit more worried about the, the Reuniclus. Since that thing's always a big threat. And he's also got a fucking gay ass era fun. Which I always absolutely fucking hate to battle. Because they do nothing except stall. So yeah. I'm going to lead off with Landris. Because um, I could U-turn out if he's Scarfed. I'm still going to outspeed because I'm Scarfed as well. And I can judge by the amount of damage that I do. Whether he's a defensive version. Or a, a what's it called. A offensive Scarf version. Or maybe um, Specs. But yeah, I'm gonna go out to Slowbro expecting the water type move, but uh, he decides to go for Toxic, which was a kind of a bitch move since uh, it DC'd previous to this and he went for the the boiling water. So uh, he tried to get the upper hand here, which actually comes back to buy him an ass if you believe in karma since I'm able to get off a crit on his Reuniclus, so that's fucking excellent. But I'm gonna switch out to my Magnazones because I know he's a Calmite variant since... Uh, before the battle DC, he, he he showed me the Calm Mind. So, um, Slowbro is not going to be able to do too much to it unless I get another crit, which is probably not going to happen. So, I went to Magnuson to prevent him from getting up Calm Minds. So, he goes into his Hydreigon. I'm pretty sure he's not going to have Fire Blast, and even if he does, it's in the rain. So, I'm just going to stay in here, um, not really fearing the Earthquake at all since most Hydreigons are physically based, but. Since the the minor zone is especially defensive, I'm able to fire off a flash cannon. Got a crit, which probably mattered, but then again, um, Surf wasn't going to be a two-hit KO, so I don't give a fuck. So he brought in the Ear of Fun, Whimsicott, whatever the fuck you want to call it, into my Magna Zone. So I expected the lead seed, which is why I went to my Landris, but he predicts that, I think, and he goes for the, the Stun Spore, which... I was really pissed off about because now my Scarfer is pretty much useless. And I was also pissed off because why the fuck would he even go for Stun Spore? It's a Magnazone. Magnazone doesn't really run too much speed. It's not really a fast Pokemon. But I don't know. But he paralyzed my shit. It pretty much makes my Landris useless. So yeah. Now I'm just going to uh, switch between my Landris and my Magnazone. Uh, one, because Landris is already paralyzed. So I don't have to worry about that. And I could U-turn out and get rid of his Lee Seed and go to Magnazone because I don't really give a fuck if he paralyzes it, which is odd because that's what he wanted paralyzed. Anyway, um, this thing is going to be annoying, substitutes and lead Seeding. And I'm just going to keep U-turning and trying to do something to this piece of shit, but it's not really letting me. So um, I kind of wanted to keep my Magnazone alive since... Uh, He's, he does have a scissor, which I could potentially trap and kill with Thunderbolt since he does have the rain up. No point in going for the HP fire. And he, the scissor, I kind of wanted it out of the way because I do have the Doug Trio, which is going to get fucked up by Bullet Punch. And I've, I've also got a horse, so horse isn't really going to be able to sweep if the, the scissor is still around. So, kind of wanted Magnuson alive, but this piece of shit is not really giving me a chance to keep it alive, so... I was just like, fuck it, I'll just try to kill it off with Magnazone. Eventually, I'm going to get him down to where uh, I'm going to kill him off, but he parahacked me the fucking turn I was going to kill him, so that allowed him to stay alive for the rest of the battle and fucking just made the battle so much harder for me. But, whatever. He's going to go out to his scissor, I guess, to resist the flash cannon, but he can't really do too much to me unless he wants to lock himself into superpower. That is, if he is choice, but... He's not choice, so I'm thinking he might be like a Swords Dance variant without superpower. So I decided to stay in there predicting um, a U-turn or a Bug Bite or some shit. And I knew I could live the U-turn, but he gets a crit, which kind of sucks since I would have gotten off a nice HG fire on the Whimsicott. But that piece of shit wants to stay alive yet again. 
So his Politoed is out here now, so I went to my horse thinking I could um, kill him off with the close combat with a surprise choice band power, but um, he decides to play it safe, goes out to his ghost type, so now I'm forced to switch out. I don't want anything to get burned. I do have Dragonite, but I don't want to use my Lumber yet, and he could potentially have Ice Beam and pretty much just screw over Dragonite. So I went to Slowbro because that's, that's the guy that I really don't give a fuck if he gets burned or not. Because he's got the regenerator. So, um, predicting his scissor or something. I'm going to go for the scout because it's boosted in the rain and all that. He goes to his reuniclus and that's going to leave him out of the range where he's pretty much just going to leave him there as fodder. Um, I know I know the the Barungaru. Fuck, what is that thing? Jealous it has water resort, but I was predicting a switch to something. So, yeah. Now, here, I'm pretty much ready to sacrifice my Landris since it's not really doing too much. So I'm just going to stay in here and go for the Earthquake, but I could have gone to my slow road, but I was thinking maybe he'd predict that, which he ends up doing. He goes to his Scizor, and I get a fire off a nice Earthquake on that thing, and since he is running some type of bulky Scizor, uh, he's not going to be able to c kill me off with the Bullet Punch, so he decides to U-turn out, go into his Politoed, which is going to take a nice chunk from the Earthquake. So here, um, I'm going to go into my Duck Trio since I'm pretty sure it's at Earthquake Revenge Kill range and he won't be able to switch out due to Arena tra Trap, but I live with Focus Sash and then he burns me, so that was fucking useless. Fuck Duck Trio, I hate that shit. So, um, yeah, now he's going to go out to this era fun thing. Um, I'm expecting the Lychee, but he, he decides to play smart. He goes for the Substitute and Lychee this turn, but it's not really going to end up mattering because I could have gone for the U-turn, but... I figured he might do something else, so I went for Stone Edge, which was a pretty bad idea on my part since it could potentially miss. And here I realized my mistake, so I'm going to go out to Slow Bro and pretty much just let this thing die because I'm not going to be able to kill it off with Slow Bro since he keeps substituting. And eventually I die. I skipped that part because it was fucking boring. So I go out to my Landris, U turn out, and I'm going to go into my horse to bait him to go for the Paralyze. This is my Teraki on his choice bandit. It still poses a threat to his um, Jellicent, except if it's paralyzed, so I was pretty sure he'd do that. I'm just going go to go for the U-turn. He decides to switch out. I don't really know why, but I don't give a fuck either because it ends up making the battle a little bit shorter. So um, I'm going to go into Dragonite, go for the Earthquake. Um, I don't know why I don't have extreme speed on this thing, but whatever. Earthquake was going to kill off um, the Scizor anyway, so I don't fucking care. And now... Confident that I have the Lumberry and I don't give a fuck if he goes for the Will-O-Wisp or the Boiling Water. I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance, but it turns out I ha actually have Leftovers, which might have cost me the battle if he got the burn. Thankfully, he doesn't get the burn, so I'm able to Dragon Dance up and threaten him out with the Outrage. He decides to go to Aerofund, predicting maybe another uh, Dragon Dance, thinking maybe I'd get greedy so he could Encore me, but that's not going to happen. I know better than that. So, um, yeah. This is pretty much it, because it's a Dragonite, and it's a late game. So, comment rate, all that shit, I'm out.